This is Alex from Pain Management Center. How are you doing? Alex from Pain Management Center? Yes, sir. You're correct. Okay. Okay. I just want only to clarify your information. You are still under on Medicare. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Since you're under Medicare, I just want only to inform you that we found out your records here. You are having pain in your lower back, down to your knees sometimes. Is that correct? Well, I, I, I think you probably want to talk to my uncle. He's got, he's got all kinds of pains. Oh, okay. So me, okay. So you. I think okay, that's who you're. I think that's who uncle. you're. I think that's who you're calling for. Yes. Yes, sir. Let me. Your uncle. May I speak to your uncle? Let me, yeah. Hold on a second. Let me. Let me put him on. Uncle Jeremiah, pick up the phone. Who is it? It. It. Who is this? Alex from Pain Center? Yes, Alex from Pain. Ma yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Al Alex from Pain Management Center. Oh, that's a bunch of BS. I talked to somebody about that last week. Did Did you talk to him already? No, sir. This okay, is okay the hold on, hold on a second. Oh. I, then, then I'll put. He says he hasn't talked to you. Pick it up. I'll find so. All right. Hello. Who is, what's your name, sir? Yes, this is Alex from Pain Management Center. Oh, Alex from Pain Center. Management Center. Okay, very good. Well, I, I got a call from yes. somebody uh, uh, talking about pain. Maybe it was my, my physician. So now you're not a physician, are you? We are working with Medicare, and this is my first time to call. All right. Okay. So yes, I sir. Want, I just want only to clarify your information. All right, yes. very good. Have you received or have you received already a back support and a knee support from Medicare, or uh, you never had one? Uh, no, as a matter of fact, I do not. Yes, exactly, sir. That is the reason why I call you. Since you're under Medicare, we are going to provide you your lightweight back and the knee support provided to you by Medicare because. You are having discomfort, am I correct? Well, I, I certainly do, but I have... Now, what kind of back braces and, and other kind of braces do you have? Because I have pain, all kinds of pains. Okay, so, sir, this back brace is made from breathable fabric. Yeah, yeah, what, what, what kind of fabric is that? Spare. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, what kind of material did you say the braces were made of? Fine Corinthian leather? Like Cordoba. How come Ricardo Montalban's not pitching this stuff for me? This back braid is made from breathable fabric, 100% a very lightweight. Okay. And it has durable design that can last for long years and very last. elastic and flexible to wear. La yeah, so you I can wear this underneath your clothes. Okay? Last you a long time. Okay, very good. All right. Okay. You are over 65 years of age already. Uh, right? Yes, sir. I'm definitely, I am actually 67 years old. Wow, but your voice sounds so young on the phone. Well, you know, the, the, the no, that was that was my nephew you were talking to. You mean I sound young? Ah, okay, ah, okay, okay, sir. So again, just for the clarification, you are having pain in your lower back. Yes, sir. Shoulder, knee, and elbow. Am I right? That that is correct, sir. I absolutely. I've got pains oh, in my are my. You sorry, well, the, yeah, I know, but it's, uh, you don't have to be sorry about it. It sounds like you're calling with a solution now. Now, if you got, if you got, uh, oh, a, I'm very sorry, sir. Yeah. So yeah. this support is very effective solution and nothing to worry. Now, you how exactly does, does how does the, 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 how does the brace work? Does it, is it like a tourniquet? Does it cut off the nerves so you don't feel the pain? How, how exactly does it work? Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Yes. This back brace and knee brace can be used to provide your lower back down to your knee, down to your ankle. That's additional support. A, a brace from my back down to my ankle. I'll be, I'll be. It's like a straight jacket. How am I supposed to work, walk around with that? Do you, do you include a segue for getting around? How, how does that go? No, sir, sir. Yes, this is a back support. I separate from shoulder support. Separate for your knee and separate for your elbow. Okay. In some case, it can greatly improve or completely eliminate the the discomfort that you have. Okay. <sighs> My friends and will be be, be nicknaming me the Tin Man. I'll be I'll be walking around like I got stovepipes on everything. All right. Oh, it, so nothing to worry for that. Yes, we have different braces here. Yeah. Yeah. So you're able now to receive your braces. 
Okay. Kindly hold on a line for a moment. All right. I am going you now to connect one of my orthopedic specialists for you to receive the exact size of your back, shoulder, knee, right. and elbow support. Kindly hold on a line for a moment, okay? Uh, that sounds wonderful. Thank you. Okay, yes, sir. It sounds wonderful. Stay on the line now, all right? I, I have no place to go. I'm retired. Me and my wife, Isabella, we're both retired. Yeah, it will not make too much of your time. All right. I promise to you, it will not make too much. Stay okay. Stay on the line now, okay? All right, sounds okay. good. Maybe we should have Colonel Quigley do the call. Quiet. You got to do it last time. Thank you for calling back on eBay Center. This is Chloe. Uh, I understand that you are interested to receive the brace, correct? Uh, yes, it, so yes. Did, did you say did you say your name was Chloe? Yes. Okay, Chloe. And you're calling from where again? Back in eBay Center. N what was it from? Mag Mag Mangany? You are, you are being transferred here into my line because... You are experiencing pain, right? Yes, ma'am, I am. Now, let me explain what will happen today. We will check if you're eligible to receive the braces that you want. Our in-house doctor will call you back in the next 24 to 48 hours, and we will let you know if they approve your request. The brace will be declined if our doctor thinks the braces are not medical necessary. All right. But no worries, okay? 99% of the time, the requested brace will be sent out. Let us check first if you're eligible in our system. All Just right. need to ask a few questions. Are you ready? Um, I'm sitting no, down for this. For the $10,000 answer, I'm sitting down for this. By the way, okay, now you, you no. never mentioned how much the free brace is going to cost me. Nothing to worry about the cost. This is a little to no out-of-pocket cost here. This is part of your benefit. Oh, I see. Before the transfer, you heard into my line. They already explained to you, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so I'm I the one who will pass your brace. All right. Now, what is your first and last name? It's It's... Jeremiah, J-E-R-M-I-A-H, last name is Wayland, W-A-Y-L-A-N-D, Jeremiah Wayland. Jeremiah Wayland? Well, I guess that's close enough, Jeremiah Wayland, yes, yes ma'am. Mm -hmm. Can mm -hmm. you spell it out for me, your first and last name? Yes ma'am, that's J-E-R-E-M-I-A-H. Jeremiah. Okay, name. And name my poppy gave me. And the last name is Whalen. That is my poppy's name. W A Y L A N D. Jeremiah Whalen. Formerly um, the fence yeah, maker. And what is the last four digit of your Medicare claim number? I, I actually don't have my Medicare card here. I got my Social Security number. Oh, for Pete's sakes, let's see who this is. Oh, it's Franklin P. Quigley. Colonel, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. You got any raisins? Do I have any raisins? No, I don't. I need some raisins. I'm sorry, I got my neighbor here, Franklin P. Quigley, is here, and he needs some raisins. What do you need raisins for, Franklin? I'm, I'm making a cake. You're making a cake? No, I'm sorry, I don't, but have a fine day. I'm on the phone right now. I gotta run. All right, so where was we? We were talking about um, we were talking about a social security number, okay? It's oh yeah. Hold on a second. Yes, how can I? Oh, Franklin. Yeah, I need some raisins. I thought we already went through that. I know. I, I he never gave me any. I still need them. I told you I don't have any raisins. Come back. Come back later. Maybe Isabella's got them. Appreciate you stopping by. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. My uh, my neighbor's looking for raisins for some unknown reason. Oh, come on now, Franklin. Hold on. What, Franklin? What is going on with you? I need some raisins. I know that. I, we already had this discussion two times already. I don't have any raisins for you. Come back later when Isabel is around. Now, thank you very much, sir. You know, I, I know exactly what he's gonna. Oh, this is really outrageous now. Mr. Quigley. That's Colonel Quigley. I understand that. Mr. Quigley, Mr. Colonel Quigley, I don't have raisins. You gotta call back, you gotta stop by again. 
when Isabella's here. Now that's no way to treat the greatest generation. Oh, you're doing the greatest generation thing. Mr. Qu uh, Colonel Quigley, thank you so much for stopping by. I so much appreciate the fact that you think I got raisins. I don't have raisins. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. My goodness, that Quigley. All right. All right. Uh, Chloe, I'm, I apologize for that. I'm back with you now. Where do we leave off, honey bunch? Okay, sir. What is the last four digit of your social security number? That would be 3873. 3873, is that correct? That's, that's, yes it is. Okay, now what would your preferred size, Mr. Jeremiah? For your back brace, would you prefer small, medium, or large? Well, well now, after retirement from being a fence maker, I, I guess I put on a couple of pounds, so, so how, how girthy do I need to be to, to fit into a large? Okay, anyway, Mr. Jeremiah, yes. can you hear me? I we didn't realize it was going to be here. tailored. So what is the last four digit of your, uh, so, okay, right. your Medicare claim number? Yes. My Medicare name, claim number, I don't, I haven't claimed anything. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Okay, ne Mr. William, Mr. Jerry Maya, we have the mismatch here. Sir, okay. can you take a look for a moment in your pocket or in your drawer? <laughs> Well, only Isabella goes through my drawers. I, I, what information do you need? I, I just gave you the, the last four digits. I mean, what, I, I'm not clear on what kind of information you need, ma'am. Okay, so what is the best time that we can call you back, Mr. Jeremiah? All right, the best number you can reach me at. Hold on a second here. I've got the, uh, I never call myself. It's, it's 315. Three three three. Yes, ma'am. Three one five. Three one five. Yes. Three one three one. That's you want the best number to reach me at. It's three one five. Three three. Yes. Okay. Three three three. Two one nine three. So that that Jeremiah hotline again is three one five. Three three three. Two one nine three. Anyway, thank you so much, and have a great day. Okay. Well, how am I going to get my back brace? Chloe, Hello? Chloe, are you still yes. with me? Yes. Okay, now how am I going to get my back brace? I just gave you my phone number. Are you going to call me back? Yes, because we have some mismatch, okay, regarding to your Medicare claim number and your Social Security number. Well, that's got to be it. I'm reading it right off the card. Anyway, thank you so much and have a great day, okay, Mr. Jeremiah? Well, does, I thought you said you were going to send me a back brace. Hello, Mr. Jeremiah. Yes, Chloe. Yes, we have some mismatch. So, are you holding now your Medicare card? Yes, I am. Now, what is the first five digit of your Medicare claim number? It's six eight five. How many digits? The first five. The the first five is six eight five eight one. And what is the last four digits? One nine zero F. And what is the last alphabet? It's F, as in F this. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. William, we have some mismatch anyway. Thank you so much for taking this call and have a wonderful day, okay? Are you going to call me back? Yes, okay, thank you so much. Are you going to promise you're going to call me back? Yes, we will call you back. We have some promotions that suit your qualifications, okay? All right, very good. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing you. First. She just hung up. Yeah, you should have had me on the phone. You gave her the wrong damn call. Quiet now. Yeah, no, quiet now. I, I gave her the right information. I don't know why you think you could have done better. I could have done much better. Uh, you, yeah, right. We heard you last Friday. Now this is my Friday. This is my boy Friday. Now we're going to get the recording again. Where's the godfather when you need him? This. Both of you guys. Yep. You're mismanaging. Mismanaging these scammers terribly. I'm going to talk next time. Watch how I handle this broad here. She's going to get on the line and tell us what to do. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. No broad tells me what to do. Capiche? Mm -hmm.